against the Hornets and Pistons before returning home to host the Blazers and Mavericks. Now let's get back to first take. Thank you kindly. Chef Curry with the shot is out for at least two weeks with a sprained <laughs> ankle. He's dealt with ankle issues since college. Max, how will the Warriors fare without him? The Warriors are a slightly above average team, I would say, without Steph Curry. You know, they're, they're better than average, but they're not great. They have a lot of talent, but they, you know, there's no one on the roster who can approximate what Curry can do off the bench. And what can Curry do? What Curry does that makes the Warriors really go, he's the most important player on the team, is not only get dribble penetration and make good decisions with the ball, either finishing well in the paint or kicking it out to shooters, just making good decisions, but he can shoot so well from such a distance. Not all three-point shots are created equal. He shoots from such a distance. It stretches the floor more than just a normal three-point shot. Not only do you have to pick him up at half court, at least, but it, even just in terms of rotating to go, to go, you know, to get your man. Steph Curry changes the geometry of the floor. And because he does that, everyone on the Warriors becomes better. Especially maybe, in, including especially maybe Draymond Green, you know, who went from like a 33% shooter to a guy 38% plus three-point shooter because he has time to shoot the ball because the floor is so spread. Steph Curry is not better than Kevin Durant but more important to the Warriors than Kevin Durant. And if you take him off the team, Sean Livingston's not that kind of player. He's an excellent player, but not the kind of player who does the things Steph does, dribble penetration, shoot for long range, those kind of things. And since there's no one else on the roster who can do it, without Steph, they fall way off. By the way, with Steph and without Durant, they never lose. It's not that Durant's not great. He's the guy who puts him over the top. But Steph is the engine, and without him, above average team. Steph Curry is definitely important to this basketball team. Having a point guard that can establish the floor, and as Max brought up, stretch the floor, that allows guys to get open shots from the wing. You look at you mentioned Draymond Green, but how about guys like Klay Thompson coming off double screens when you have Steph Curry, who's still a threat at the top of the screen, can shoot from half court, gives Klay Thompson an opportunity to come off the screen, set his feet up, and be able to shoot the shot. But this puts more pressure on Kevin Durant to stay healthy. With Steph Curry being out, they're still going to be about a 90% winning basketball team, and they're probably the top 90%. two teams. Absolutely. Absolutely. First of all, there's a still loaded. No matter how you look at it, Max. I mean, I know Steph Curry's a 26, you know, points per game, seven, seven assists, and six rebounds. But let's let's really dig into it. I mean, when you have Kevin Durant who can give you 30 to 40 every night if he allowed himself to, now he knows he has more pressure on his shoulder with Steph Curry being out. Klay Thompson, who I, you watch during the flow of offenses, he's going to get his shot up. Now that Steph Curry being out, he's going to shoot more shots. You'll bring a call off the bench. You'll bring. Uh, even, even Swaggy P get an opportunity to play a little bit more minutes because he can stretch the floor as well. But now the bigs have to play a little bit better. JaVale McGee and also your Pachula are going to have to rebound a little bit more. You don't have Steph Curry being able to penetrate into the lane and being able to create for others and also for himself. Now the flow of the offense is going to be more transition. They're going to be pushing the ball up the floor. Kevin Durant probably have the ball in his hands a little bit more than usual. Or you'll see Draymond Green bring the ball down as well. This still is a winning basketball team. Even losing Steph Curry gives them an opportunity to win. see what type of, see what team they have, just like when Kevin Durant went out. When Kevin Durant went out, they had to find themselves last year, and they went on that winning streak. We didn't know if they would be able to sustain that while Kevin Durant was out, but they did. This year, I think still they do the same if Steph Curry is out for about six games it, or so Donovan. and be able to continue this on. If, they, if Steph Curry were to go out for the year, knock wood, that doesn't happen, obviously. But if right. Steph were, like, gone, they'd have to go get someone who can do some of the same things. Obviously, you can't find Steph Curry. But, but a, a point guard who could dribble, penetrate, and shoot the three, you know, and make decent decisions, they'd have to do that. Um, without Steph, look, if you look at their schedule, the real difference in the NBA this year that I've seen a kind of shift from west to east is the depth in the west is lacking. There aren't a bunch of good teams in the west right. like there used to be. It's very top-heavy. So, yes, they can survive this this injury to Steph without losing too, too many games because they're not playing murderer's row. On average, the opponent you face is weaker than the opponent they used to face. But they're not nearly as good without Steph and are much better. They won 73 games without Kevin Durant. They right. wouldn't win those 73 games without Steph, no kind of way. And uh, forget, they wouldn't win 60 games without Steph. It's a, it's a fundamentally lesser team without that guy. Look, you have, like, Clay Thompson could, can put the ball on the floor if he wants, but if you're playing the Golden State Warriors, you would like to focus your defense on doing just that, right? Like, hey, force Clay to put the ball on the floor and become right. a decision maker. It's right. not that he can't. It's that that's not really what he does. Well, who else on the team does that? You're going to have Draymond play point forward? Who are you going to get? Who do you have on the roster currently who can do any of the things that Steph can do? It's well, a, it, he's just he's a, 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 the most important piece by far.
Well, he's a dynamic player, don't get me wrong, absolutely. Everything that we've seen throughout his career has been amazing. I mean, we, we want to try to not give him credit at times for whatever reason. Maybe because he's light-skinned and light-skinned is, not, is coming back in, sort of like myself being very sexy and light-skinned. But on another note, you can also put Andre Iguodala at the point guard position. You can put Draymond mm-hmm. Green to bring the ball down. I mean, Sean Livingston can get down and then get to his spots and create his own shot. But the thing about it in this offense, now, now I'm just saying without Steph Curry, in this offense, you can get guys in transition to push the ball down floor and catch guys on the wing like Clay Thompson to put the ball up. Defenses has to have to get back and stop transition play because that's why they've been very successful. Yes, it's been a little bit because of Steph Curry and this distance of shooting three-point baskets and also his underratedness of getting into the lane and being able to create for others and also get up on the glass and get to the free throw line. But this is a transition type of offense. This is an offense that leads the league in assists. They're going to spread the ball no matter what, no matter how you do it. If it's one screen, two screen, three screens, or however it may be, somebody's going to get an easy shot. So let's not think that all of a sudden they're going to fall off just because Steph Curry's not playing. They're going to continue to stay going, and when Steph gets healthy enough to get back out there on the court, they're just going to sustain it and then take it to another level. Look, their plus-minus drops off dramatically without Steph. Their one loss, their win-loss record, small sample size recently, drops off dramatically without Steph. But without KD, for example, and I think we're on the same page about that, actually, they went on a winning streak they couldn't lose. I mean, you know, right. what KD does for the team is put them over the top. That's what makes it unfair no matter what you bring. They're going to smoke you because they got essentially a 73-win nucleus, and then they added KD. That's ridiculous. But Steph is the engine of the team. If you die. And In fact, I think Draymond Green is the second most important player, Donovan, True. on the team in terms of what the Warriors do, right? But Absolutely. without Steph, I, don't, I mean, you'd have, if they lost him for a significant period of time, they got to go make a trade. they got to bring someone in who could do some of the things he can do because there's no one else on the roster. But what, what would that be? Would that be a creator of the point guard position or you want a shooter? If I'm looking, if, if that actually happens, and we hope that it doesn't, but you, I would go after a creator, somebody that can get into the lane and create for others, not somebody to just come in and shoot and score because that takes away from the rest of the guys. What Steph does in that offense, it's unbelievable because, you know, you have three true scorers, three all-stars, and that's not, that's not including, that's not adding Steph Curry and not including Draymond. These are guys that can shoot the ball from 15 to 25 feet and still shoot at a high level. Then you add Draymond out there who's now a big man at his garden. He, like you said, he's standing at the three-point line, just kind of gathering his feet and getting an opportunity to get, kind of just rest and then shoot. So I, I think everyone benefits from having Steph, but I still think that they're going to continue this train moving with Steph being out. We shall see. The Warriors are 5-5 five and five over the last five seasons without Steph. And you want to know how they're going to do without him? Guess what? We got you covered tonight on ESPN. When they take on the Hornets, that's at 8 Eastern. Then Carl Anthony Towns in the T-Wolves face the Clippers. Beatle Jalen Chauncey in the truth have you covered. NBA Countdown 7 Eastern always available on the app. Still to come. LeBron's got his team within striking distance in the Eastern Conference after a shaky start to the season.